we're driving out of here, me, my auntie, and Gabriel, and there was, there was this white truck in front of us, he was going slow, and we, and we didn't know this cop behind us, we didn't know he was following us, so this white truck was going so slow like this, then then by that lake there, lake, what's it? The crap. <laughs> That's where they stopped us. And then we, the police got off of his truck. He was coming like really fast. And then he hit the door like this. Then he, then he went like this in front of the driver's side like this. Wait, I want to talk to you, he said. Was he in uniform? Yeah, no, yeah. no. He just, just so the, it was an unmarked vehicle and no, the police officer was not in uniform? No. And the police officer uh, struck your vehicle on yeah. the side and on the hood? Yeah. On yeah. The where where did the police officer strike your vehicle? Uh, not too far from here. And, and where on the On the side. Uh, on the driver's side. Driver's side. Uh, okay. And then what happened? And then he was talking to him. Talking about uh, her Norman and Casey Matswan to go talk to their boss about the logging, stuff like that. So did they give you a reason why they pulled you over in that manner? Not really. No? no. Okay. Is there anything else you wanted to add? No. No. Ah, <laughs> uh, and, then, and then this cop told Gabriel, you're old enough to speak for yourself now, like in a mean way. Who? Uh, who he pulled who? <laughs> one, of the, one of the agents. Yeah, and did what? Uh, he, he told Gabriel that you're old enough to speak for yourself now. So this, to, this is Gabriel? Yeah. Uh, and he tapped him like this. And when when he said that to you, it, was that an insult? I mean, you're obviously not a young child anymore, right? Mm, that's right. He, he, so he sounded like that. Maybe we can ask Gabriel, what what did the police officer say? And you can... I was, he said, I was told that I'm old enough to, to speak for myself. And then I was told that I'm old enough to speak for myself. And then he would recognize the police officer. The, the one that pulled him over, if he sees him again. Um, ask him, was he discriminated against because he doesn't speak, uh, he doesn't speak, uh, uh, in, in, in Francais? Is he discriminated against because of the language he speaks? Ask him that. Oh, discriminated. Um, he he discriminated? It means, uh, racially discriminated. I know, like, how would you break it down so I can uh, explain it more in Algonquin? Like, then does it disrespect you because you don't speak the same language as him? Yeah. Could you name the name of 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 of my ear. He <coughs> doesn't hear too well. Okay. And then, can we uh, ask you? Um, maybe what's the question we should ask? Wh um, wh was it was this to intimidate you? Was it to make it make you afraid? Um, that's why they that's why they did that. That's why they were doing that to intimidate us. Yeah. <coughs> so she's saying when, when that when that white truck, the loggers truck, came to a complete stop, Gabriel tried to uh, to pass it uh, going on the side, and, uh, and that's when they seen the police officers running towards their vehicle, and banging on the side. Thank you. Anything else that we'd like to say? <laughs> Thank you.
I was going to get my medications in uh, at the Rapid Lake Clinic. Yeah, and he also got pulled over at the entrance of the Kabunga Road. <coughs> he said that there was a logger in front of him, and the police did not intercept that logger, but intercepted uh, Mr. Wawade and told him and, uh, to provide his driver's license, and they were checking for seatbelts. Thank you. Thank you.